rough, rocky, relentless. The northern part of Ethiopia dares anything to survive. Where there is water, there is life. These beautiful monkeys are native. But there's not much water, not much food, not much hope for the poor farmers who try to carve out an existence in this dry, desolate place. This is Zamero, a town about 200 miles north of Ethiopia's capital. And this is Zamero's medical clinic. The closest full-service hospital is 80 miles away. Um, this is our first trip. Here to volunteer is a team of doctors, nurses, and pharmacists from Ethiopia and the United States. The team leader is Houston emergency medicine doctor, Ethiopian native, and co-founder of the International Fund for Africa, Antenna Roba. Our, our trip this time is not to solve all the problems that exist in this, in this town. It's to learn about what the problems are and to find a way to help. Prepared as they are, the team can't expect what's ahead. The IFA team can only bring enough equipment and supplies to treat a few hundred people, but word has spread the Americans are here. So more than 5,000 register for treatment, many begging for their first chance to see a doctor in decades. Roads and cars are rare, so they walk for days from distant mud huts, some carrying the sick on litters. All they have is their will to get here. Once they arrive, 80% show some form of eye disease. So can she see how many fingers I'm holding up? Cataracts are common, but even more frightening is a preventable bacterial infection called trachoma. Poor sanitation spreads it, especially in children. Simple antibiotics cure it, but without them, blindness is certain. The IFA team saves this little girl's eyesight and that of at least 10 other children. But for others, the damage is done. It's everywhere the team looks. Preventable illness caused by crushing poverty goiter, the product of poor diet, dehydration, the product of diarrhea caused by bad water, fungal scalp infection, the product of poor sanitation. So many are just too sick to be treated at the limited Zimero Clinic. This little girl arrived here needing laboratory tests. Because she didn't get them, two days later, she was dead. In the future, this needless tragedy can be prevented. One of IFA's supporters has donated the equipment to transform this room at the clinic into a real working laboratory. Transportation remains the greatest challenge. This 25-year-old woman makes it to the clinic because her husband carries her here from their home six miles away. From what it looks like or sounds like, this could be uh, tuberculosis of the bone or Pox disease. IFA team members pool their own money to buy the woman a precious round-trip car ride to the capital, where IFA arranges treatment to save her life. She is one of the fortunate few. Of the 5,000 people who want treatment, the IFA team only has enough manpower, medicine, and supplies to see 800. Still, the gratitude is overwhelming. I thank the organization very much. I'm very happy they came from so far away to help us. Even though everyone didn't get treated, the start is good. Please don't leave us. Please don't leave us. Our people are hurting, and we're asking the organization to help us in the future. A young Ethiopian medical officer echoes the request. I learned a lot by you guys coming. I'm so excited to be working with American doctors. For them to come from the U.S. and spend time with us is awesome. Toward the end of their time here, the IFA team meets an 80-year-old blind woman who walks almost 20 miles barefoot to reach the clinic. There's not much we can do for her, and so this lady has come all this way. Um, and, uh, it's, it's beyond our capacity to help her. So we're going to give her an appointment to come back in a couple of months when we come back, hopefully, with an ophthalmologist to see her if she can make it to her. Now, the slip of paper that pledges a future appointment with an IFA volunteer eye doctor hides inside her clothes, guarded like a winning lottery ticket. Another elderly woman also can't be treated today, but she's so grateful to the volunteer doctors for just seeing her, she kisses the ground under their feet. IFA gives her the equivalent of a couple U.S. dollars for the walk back home. In Ethiopia, that's the same as a couple months' salary. Never, never in my life have I seen the people so grateful for giving them a dollar and a half or two dollars. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. So much, yeah.
The most powerful enemy here is poverty. But with your help, IFA turns tears into treatment. IFA needs equipment, medicine, money, and volunteer medical professionals, especially ophthalmologists, OBGYNs, pediatricians, and family practice internal medicine doctors. IFA wants to send a volunteer medical team to Zumero every four months, providing health care and education on a regular basis. At the same time, IFA hopes to build housing for the medical volunteers, making their work in Zumero easier and more efficient. IFA is committed to breaking the cycle of poverty by providing tools and training for dry climate farming, deep well drilling, and solar energy capture. These advances support IFA's efforts to provide basic health care to forgotten people in a faraway land. Won't you please help? Volunteer your time. Give a donation. Make a difference. On the road to Zumero, it's the only thing that matters.